Hi everybody, I'm Allison Cope and welcome to the Chibitronics YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a fun masculine birthday card using the craft effects stickers and stencil, some conductive fabric tape, and some really cool colored LED light stickers. Let's get going. I've already begun preparing my card by printing out a digital image, colored it up with some Copic markers, and I've already made my card base in which my circuit is going to be made. And what I've done is I've found a nice position for our little robot birthday dude here. And I want his lights to light up, this little piece on kind of like a heart, the little switch, and the two cute little fireballs coming out of his feet. And I want all of those to light up. So I've transferred that information to the front of my embossed card here. Isn't that cool? And I've punched some holes with my scissors. And I've also gone through with a pencil and marked them on the inside. And let's get started with our circuit. Since I want to use the balloon aspect of our image for our switch, and I've made a tiny little mark where kind of the bottom of his balloon is going to be. We're going to mark that for our battery today. Now I like to do double batteries for my card. You do not have to do double batteries to make things work, but I just like to use two because I find that my LED light stickers light up much brighter. So now we need to make the craft effect sticker as part of our circuit. Let's do that. Let's plan where our LED stickers are going to go and we're going to use this cute little stencil and this stencil part and we're going to map out every single one of our light sticker locations indicated by the pencil dots. Because this one is so close, I'm going to try and make sure that I don't connect the wrong things together because points go together and long pieces go together. So you just have to be mindful of that. For my card, I only want the flames that are coming out of the back of his shoes to blink. And this is our blink sticker. So I only want to attach it to these two stickers down here. So we, I'm going to put this sticker down much closer to both of those stickers. So we can map that out on our card base here. There we go. And this will be a blink. Okay, let's put on our negative and our positive lines. Let's begin by mapping out our negative side of our circuit here. I always begin my circuits uh, starting with the batteries. And since the batteries sit with the positive side up, the negative side of the battery is actually the underneath side. So therefore it touches the bottom of those batteries. So we need to make sure that each one of our stickers is contacted by the negative line, the negative point on each sticker is actually the pointy part. The effect sticker also needs to be connected to our circuit as well. This is the negative aspect of our sticker and these two points are positive. So we need to take this connection and connect it up to this corner. So I'm just going to make a completely separate arm to our circuit, like such. We're gonna come down and touch the negative corner and then we're gonna proceed to touching 
the negative portion and I'm just actually going to extend this line and we need to connect this to the negative aspect of the two stickers that we want to blink. There we go. We have all of our negative lines. Now we need to map out our positive lines. And this is where it gets a little tricky. So what we're going to do is typically our positive starts on the very top of my batteries. And I'm just going to show that by doing a dotted line indicating that it's on top of the batteries this time. We need to connect this now with all of the negative sides of our stickers. Well, as you can see, it is kind of trapped. So if I were to take my positive and cross over my negative, my circuit will not work. Ah, but there's a way around that. What you can do is actually create a bridge. So you can do that by, first of all, actually, let's connect it to the top of our blink sticker. Okay, we'll come out the bottom in a second. But we need to connect this line to the bottom part of our stickers. No problem, it's easier than you think. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a line from this across to our stickers. Okay, now you say, Allison, but it's crossing this line. Ah, but what we can do is we create little paper bridge and what that does so you lay down the negative, you put the paper bridge, and then you lay down the positive, and therefore paper is not conductive and your circuit will still work. So then we need to connect these two stickers. So we're just gonna create a line down here and connect up our two stickers here. There we go. And then we'll have a little piece of tape this way. Okay, so let's finish off the circuit from our sticker here. We're just gonna come straight out from underneath our stickers and straight down from the corner of our blink effect sticker. And there we go, we have everything mapped out. Let's go and add our conductive fabric tape. So I'm going to start our circuit by starting underneath the batteries. I just find this is the easiest way to do this. You have less joints this way. So we're going to implement our sticky backed fabric tape and just basically we're following those lines. I highly recommend if you have a bone folder, this is a great tool just to help you go around the corners. And there we go, our, the negative side of our circuit is complete. Let's make that paper bridge before we go any further. So all your paper bridges is basically just a little scrap of cardstock glued into place. And there we go, now we can start 
the positive side. And in order to make the positive side of the batteries touch the positive side of the circuit, we have to build a little house for our batteries. To make the housing for my batteries, I took some three-dimensional foam adhesive and we're going to basically put that foam adhesive to make a little four-sided house for our batteries. And this just helps keep the batteries in place so that they're not rocking around <laughs> in the inside of your cart. So there, that fourth piece holds everything in. And then I've made a flap. And you can make this out of any material. I'm making this out of acetate today because I want you to be able to see the batteries underneath. And we need to start the beginning of our positive side by actually putting our tape on the underside of whatever the flap is. So this flap of acetate is going to be literally wrapped with our conductive fabric tape. So you go along the bottom and then you're going to wrap it all the way around to the top. And this allows the flap to be pressed down and make contact with those batteries. So therefore it becomes your switch. And I always connect my flap at one end by taping that flap down. And there we go. And now that our flap is taped down, we are going to take our conductive fabric tape and finish off the positive side of our battery. Just make sure that you take a little bit of time when you're going down, because this is a 3D space and make sure that your tape is securely stuck and gone around the corners and let's finish this up. Let's start by putting our Blink Craft Effects sticker down. Just have to match up your template. And give it a firm press. And let's add our lights. All of our stickers are clearly labeled with a letter to indicate the color and the positive and negative sign located above the LED light. All of our LED stickers, red, 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 and yellow, yellow, have been attached, as well as our craft effects sticker. And look at that. Because we have bypassed all of the red stickers, it's only the yellows that blink. Pretty cool. Let's put the card front together. I just applied some wet adhesive to our little robot fella. And then we're just going to position him because I know these two bottom ones are his little rocket feeds. And this one is the switch. So we're just going to position him hopefully right over top of those holes. 
gonna hold him down just because that surface is a little bit three-dimensional and then our card will be ready to go so we've turned off the lights and our little robot is attached and all we have to do is press and look we got some flashing flames thanks for joining me today guys i hope i've inspired you to grab your chibitronic supplies and make something cute